today we're making a bone-in chicken breast with a pan sauce. For starters, we have our chicken breast, which we acquired from our chicken breakdown video. We also have butter, salt, a whole onion, some cracked black pepper, two cloves of garlic, and some green onions. You'll also need some olive oil and some wine. I use sweet vermouth, but I would definitely recommend using wine instead. Alright, let's go ahead and grab our onion. So for starters, you're going to want to slice off the butt of the onion, and then you're going to turn it over, cut it in half, and then one side at a time, you'll slice it like this, and then you'll make incisions on the sides, and then you can chop it into nice sized little chunks. And then we're just gonna put those to the side, chop up our garlic. This can be rough chopped. You wanna slice it and then just kinda rock your knife back and forth to get those real fine minced pieces of garlic, and then we'll set that to the side as well. All right, and then we can grab our chicken breast, Add a little bit of oil to our pan, spread that around nice and even with a paper towel. Then we can crank that up to medium high heat and while that's heating up, season generously with salt. Add a little bit of cracked black pepper. All right, and once your pan is nice and hot, you can go ahead and lay the chicken breast away from you, skin side down. And we're just gonna let that sear for probably three to four minutes. We don't need to flip it, it's just the one side with that big chunk of skin that we wanna get a nice, sear on because the rest of the chicken is going to be finished in the oven. Alright, so it's been about four minutes. Go ahead and flip our chicken breast and look at that nice color. That's exactly what you want. Now we're just going to get a small baking dish and put this in the 400 degree oven for about 35 minutes. And while the chicken is in the oven, that gives us the perfect opportunity to make our pan sauce. As you can see, we have a bunch of beautiful fond in the bottom of our pot. So we're going to start by adding our onions and garlic off heat, stir those around until they get a little bit of color, and we're going to go ahead and add our wine of choice, and put that back on the heat and just stir it until the onions get cooked and the garlic is fragrant. Then optionally, I sliced up some fresh parsley from my garden, just roll that up into a little tube, and then gently slice it. You don't want to bruise the parsley, you want to get nice little pieces of it. This is going to add a wonderful color to our sauce, as well as a little bit of that parsley flavor. You can also add fresh thyme or rosemary or even cilantro if you feel like it. I really recommend adding a fresh herb because it adds a lot of freshness to the, uh, to the sauce. So go ahead and stir in your fresh herbs of choice, and then you're going to add about a tablespoon to two tablespoons of butter. Go ahead and mix that in until your butter is completely melted and you have a nice velvety sauce. Then you're going to want to take your pan off heat so that you can slice up a lemon and add half a lemon's worth of juice. You can substitute pre-squeezed lemon juice, but I definitely recommend using fresh if you have access to it. Alright, then you're going to want to just put the lid back on the pan and let that sit and stay warm while we wait for our chicken breast. My chicken breast is ready, so I'm going to go ahead and take it out and put it on my cutting board. And I'm just going to slice right along the bone to get that main piece of breast. And then we're going to slice the breast itself on a bias and use the bone as kind of a nice serving platter. Just to listen to that nice crisp. Okay, and then to plate up, we're going to start with our bone rack. We're going to put the chicken breast right on top, slide that off of our knife. Then we're going to add two lemons as a garnish. Then we're going to slice up some green onions. Remember that we forgot to add our pan sauce, so go ahead and do that. Then we're going to re-add our garnished lemons. Add some green onion. And you're ready to eat. A delicious, juicy chicken breast. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't already know, this is the second episode of my chicken series and the first recipe of such. So stay tuned for more episodes of the chicken series and more videos to come afterwards. Have a good one.